Hi friends, Shay here. So I wanted to have a bit of a discussion with you. Um, I had a break at work and I watched an amazing YouTube video by my girl Ashley over at Bookish Realm talking about how booktubers read too much. Now, I'm not really going to get into that conversation, but it did kind of inspire this conversation. So if you are interested in the l amazing things Ashley had to say, I'm going to leave that video linked. You should definitely check out Ashley if you haven't. She contributes so much to this community and she is just a gem. I love her as a human. We've done some collabs together. It kind of fell apart there for a while because life got crazy for both of us. I hope we can get back to it sometime soon. But with that said, um, she was talking about how she's seen people gauging like their moods on their reading level. Now, I admitted in my journaling videos that I kind of did this for a while. And I've come to realize that it wasn't healthy for me. So this is going to be a very personal discussion. Basically, the majority of 2021, I have been depressed and not feeling like I was contributing enough to like my home, my lifestyle, anything like that. And I just drowned myself in reading to cope and deal because I wasn't dealing with my life. And I'm not saying reading to pull you out of depression is necessarily the wrong thing to do. It's, you know, doing it in a short term to help get you out of a big moment is totally fine. And I totally think people should. Um, but at that point, you need to go to your doctor. You need to go to your therapist. You need to go get help for your mental health. I did not do that right away. <laughs> I'm like, I'm dealing with things fine. And I was in denial. And I just kept drowning myself in more and more reads and more and more books. And then I would get behind on my reviews. I'm behind on my reviews for the year. I've done the ones that I had specifically for review from publishers. But a lot of other things that I've read and even that I've really enjoyed, I've not written reviews for. And... It hurts me inside because then I feel like, oh, well, people aren't going to enjoy my content because they're not seeing me reading a lot. <laughs> Basically, as a content creator, I was feeling a lot of pressure to keep up that pace once I started that pace because I was kind of in that pace last year dealing with the pandemic and things and I said, oh, I'm going to slow down my reading in 2021. And that didn't happen because I was still depressed, still not dealing well with the world. And so I just kept avoiding and kept reading. And so even with the reviews I have written, I'm over five or 600 for the year. And there's a bunch that I haven't written. So clearly, I was not dealing well with life. So this fall, I had a conversation with my husband about how I needed to contribute more. But I didn't want to get a job just to get a job. I wanted it to be the right job. And that's how I ended up at Barnes & Noble. I waited till they had an opening. And everything fell into place at just the right time in just the right way. And now I have that job that I really love and enjoy. And I wouldn't trade for the world. I love my time at Barnes & Noble. It's hard work. People who think being a bookseller is easy, y'all, it is not. <laughs> You are constantly dealing with customers. You're running all over the floor. It's a much more physically taxing job than you think it would be. And it's amazing. I love it. It's so rewarding. And it's it's fed that part of me that was not getting fed before. I'm able to help people in a realm in which I do know a lot and I love. And I get to recommend things that I don't even feel like I can recommend on this channel. I feel like I've pigeonholed myself into being a certain type of reader. And so for content, people have certain expectations of what I read. And that makes it hard. So basically, this video is talking to you a little bit about how I plan to do my reading in 2022. Essentially, I'm just going to read whatever the heck I want. And I'm sorry if you're here for something specific, you're probably you may not see it. 
Um, clearly I'm doing the Haikyuu read-along, so I will be talking about Haikyuu throughout the year. Um, and I will still be talking about manga, and I will still be talking about romance. But I'm going to be talking about other things, too. I really want to read more translated works. Uh, my current read right now is a Chinese translated light novel. It's the MXTX books um, that just recently came out through Seven Seas. I'm really enjoying the one that I've started. Um, Heaven Officials Blessing is the one I'm starting with. Um, but I've throughout this year, I've really, like, I've purchased a bunch of translated books. And I feel like I can't pick them up because people expect me to read certain things. And I don't want to feel that way anymore. So I'm kind of making this video, one, to be accountable to myself, but two, just to also let you know that if you see changes on this channel, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to read romance. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to read manga. It's that I want to read these things too. Another thing I wanted to talk about is just the sheer amount of things that I've been reading. And I know that it's not healthy with the way I burrowed down. But in 2022, my reading pace is going to slow. Um, that's naturally just going to happen because I have my job at Barnes. I have my hair job. And I have a partner that I love and cherish. And I love hanging out with him. We're currently on a Minecraft server together. And we play together. And it's fun. We have a really good time. And that's something that I don't want to sacrifice for my reading right now. Especially where I'm working more, I feel like I don't get to spend as much quality time with my partner. And I want to spend more time with him. I do. He is my person. I love him. I want to spend more time with him. But I feel like I can't do that with my nose buried in a book every evening when I'm when we're home together. You know, he has a couple of nights where he plays a game with his buddy. And so I will probably do more reading on those nights than on other nights. And, you know, at my job, though I'm surrounded by books all the time at Barnes & Noble, I only have like my 30-minute lunch where I really have enough time to read um, or maybe a little bit on a 15-minute break. But usually by then, I'm catching up with my phone, answering comments on YouTube or something along those lines. And so I don't really get the time to read as much. And sometimes by the time I get home, I am so exhausted that the last thing I want to do is pick up a book. And that's just my reality right now. I will be slowing down the amount of days I'm working at Barnes in the early part of 2022 at least. Just because right now, I know if I keep going this pace, I'm going to burn out and I'm going to quit this job. And I don't want to do that because I love this job. So I've already talked to my bosses about it. I'm going to be slowing down, doing less days. That gives me a little more time to make sure that I'm getting content out to you guys. Um, this has been really overwhelming for 25 days of manga. And so I'm going to have a very strict upload schedule. That'll help with channel membership. I will be more active with my channel members. I'm sorry I've not been the greatest as I've been adjusting to this job, but a lot of that's going to shift in 2022. So normally I would do like a recap of my goals for 2021, but they just like kind of went out the window by April in a, in a lot of ways. Um, the one thing I want to continue doing is buddy reading with multiple people. Um, the last couple of years, I've constantly been buddy reading with Lindsay over at Lindsay Tut. I don't see that changing. She and I really love to buddy read together. Um, we're doing it a little bit less, like we're taking a few breaks here and there as we need them. And that's been fine. That's been great. That works for both of us. We'll continue to do that. But I also buddy read with other people this year. And that's led me to more bookish kinds of friendships. I've been able to buddy read some amazing things with amazing people. And I want to continue to do that moving forward in 2022. So if you are interested in buddy reading with me, I'm going to do some videos dedicated more to that. That's going to be a different situation. Um, this is just an off the cuff kind of video. But in a lot of ways, content creators can sometimes feel pressure to read certain things like the big popular books that are releasing or to read more so that they have more to talk about for content, things like that. And I'm not going to let myself fall into that trap anymore. I'm going to read at the pace that's comfortable for me and I'm just going to 
give myself some time and some space to do other things in my life. Because I feel like for the last probably three years, my life has just been reading outside of work. And I want to do other things. Um, There's going to be some travel going on this year. I've got a trip planned in February. And then I've got one coming up this summer related to a book of release and some things like that. So things are going to change. I'm going to travel more. I might bring reads with me when I travel, sure. But reading is not my whole life like it used to be. And so I just want to make sure that I'm tempering people's expectations of the amount that I'm going to be reading moving forward. Yes, I still read quickly. Yes, I still read constantly. I usually have an audiobook going. I'm almost finished with another one. And I could care less about the amount that I read. Um, I do plan on doing more detailed reviews. So I will most likely be taking more notes as I read. I'm noticing that particularly with this MXTX novel that I want to make sure I'm fully understanding it because it is a translated work. It's a beloved translated work. And I do believe there was an anime made of it. I don't remember. But I am very excited. I'm enjoying the writing style. Whoever the translators are for this, like chef's kiss bless you. You're doing a fantastic job. I'm very like engaged in the writing. And that's something that I don't always feel. And so I'm probably going to be a lot more selective with the books that I pick up. There will probably be some big on hauls coming up on my channel because I'm going to go through my shelves and I'm going to go through my TBR shelf. And if I don't think I'm going to read it in the next six months, it's most likely going to go. So that's going to be some stuff that happens on while I've got when I've got some time off and some things like that. So just expect those kinds of changes moving forward with this channel. You'll still see manga. You'll still see romance. Like like I said before, those things aren't going to leave because I love those things. But yeah, things are going to shift. Things are going to change. And they're going to be good changes, at least for me. I hope you will be understanding. And I hope you will also be able to open your eyes and maybe try something new, support some translated works, some things like that. So I'm very excited. This was very much a rambly, off-the-cuff kind of video. But after Ashley's video, really, seriously, go check out Ashley's video. It's fantastic. It's so well thought out. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.